Yo, what's going on everyone? It's D. Lloyd. So, the mistake that I thought the Timberwolves would not be making, it looks like they could possibly be making. Now, according to The Athletic, the Minnesota Timberwolves are preparing to start the season with Jimmy Butler on their roster, which means they are not planning on trading him. They do intend to actually keep him. And I think this is a terrible mistake. Now you have to consider... Is he actually going to join the team or is he just going to be on the roster? You know if he comes back into that locker room, it's going to be a toxic situation, especially when you look at what Carl Anthony Towns did. He signed his extension only because Jimmy Butler wasn't supposed to be there. He said he was not going to sign his extension until they resolved the Jimmy Butler situation and they end up just playing him because he signed He is now going to be a member of the Timberwolves for the long term, and Jimmy Butler is going to be back in that locker room, potentially. And I think it's a terrible mistake. I think they should have traded him. And what Mark Stein is reporting is that the final offer that the Miami Heat made to the Timberwolves was Josh Richardson and a protected first-round draft pick. I told you there wasn't going to be a situation where they're going to give up a lot of plate people. It wasn't going to be a Josh Richardson, a Tyler Johnson, a Bam Metabio, and a draft pick. It wasn't going to happen, especially when you know that there's still a possibility Jimmy Butler doesn't sign long term. And on top of that, you know that there's only two other teams besides yourselves that's even interested in bringing in Jimmy Butler. So I want to offer a whole bunch. Turns out they didn't. It was Josh Richardson that protected the first round pick. And I think that is kind of what you expect out of Jimmy Butler, who requested a trade in August, who has one year left on his deal, who publicly requested the trade, and who everybody around the league knows doesn't want to be there. You're not going to get a lot of value back from that. So I don't know what they actually expected. But in a twist, according to Mark Stein, it was actually the owner, Glenn Taylor, who turned down that offer from Miami. So I assumed it was Thibodeau, because Thibodeau, you know, wants to get rid I mean, wants to keep Jimmy Butler. Glenn Taylor wants to get rid of him, but maybe Thibodeau talked to Glenn Taylor and told him that, hey, we need more. I don't know exactly how that conversation went, but reportedly it was Glenn Taylor, the owner, who actually turned down that offer. They went to the Clippers to ask for Tobias Harris, the Clippers aren't going to move to Bias Harris, so they said no. You look to the you look to the Houston Rockets. The Houston Rockets didn't really have anybody except for Eric Gordon. And I told you guys before, the entire situation with the Houston Rockets was blown out of proportion. Yes, they did have a phone call, but they talked up that trade offer to make it seem like they were really, really trying to get them. So you could get the Miami Heat to offer a little bit more. Clearly, it hasn't worked as of right now. He's still a member of the Timberwolves. And according to The Athletic, it looks like he may be a member of the Timberwolves come Tuesday when the NBA season tips off. I think it's a huge mistake, but you guys let me know how you guys feel about that in the comment section below. If you were Glenn Taylor, would you have taken the offer of Jimmy Butler for Josh Richardson to protect the first round pick? Or would you too have turned it down and rather had Jimmy Butler on your roster, and then maybe you could try to work out a deal once the season begins. Let me know how you guys feel about it and what you guys would do if you're in that situation in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.